To get a games now where this weekend sees the commencement of this year's Camogie Championship, seven counties will be looking to get the better of defending champions Wexford and take the sport's biggest prize. This Saturday, the race commences for the O'Duffy Cup. Dublin, Kilkenny, Clare, Cork, Offaly, Galway and Tipperary will all be hoping to scupper Wexford's bid for three in a row. <laughs> three in a row will be unreal. So and now, in saying that, I don't think the players look on it as three in a row. I think it's just more an outside thing. Like We're just kind of looking for another good year, hopefully start the championship well, get over our first four matches, hopefully with a win and hopefully get into the all Ireland semi-final with a four good wins. Motivation won't be a problem for any county. Cork were themselves looking for a hat-trick two years ago when Wexford began this latest period of dominance. As you said, we dominated a few years back, so everybody remembers that. Nobody, I think the last two years people have kind of, it's hurt them, so I think this year in particular we're back on track, we're trying to get back on track anyway. The Camogie Association has made both format and rules changes this year. The two group winners progress to the semi-final stage. The rest will battle it out in qualifiers and quarter-finals. Skills will be rewarded too, notably the sideline cut. We have brought in a new change where we are awarding an extra bonus point for a sideline puck. If a player takes a sideline, scores directly over the bar instead of one point, we get an extra bonus point. Difficult skill, but if you can achieve it, we can reward it. All eight counties are in action on Saturday. Dublin and Kilkenny open proceedings in Crumlin at one o'clock. The final of the 2012 championship in association with RTE Sport takes place in Croke Park on September 16th. Joe Stack, RTE News, Croke Park.